So if the marketing world came to an apocalyptic end, so to speak, what tools would I use as a part of my content stack? Let's chat. What's up, automators? Justin, founder of AutomationMaster.net, here to help you, coaches and speakers, create automated systems that save you time and generate you more revenue. And so I've been on this kick lately, and I know the intro is a little ridiculous, right? Because I'm not saying that the world's gonna come to the end, but what if I was limited to only a few things I could use in my business in order to put out content? Really been on this content automation kick. And so if I had to choose three tools to use as a part of content, right? As a part of putting things out there, as a part of creating videos and posts and all that stuff. If you pick three tools, what would those tools be? Now, if you don't know me, again, I'm all about tech, all about software and how we can use those things to make our lives easier. Now, my I had an original channel, so this is, this is kind of a, I had an old brand, right? It's called New Future Builder. And in that brand, I was putting out video after video after video, week after week, month after month. And I kind of just let it all stop. Cause at some point, like I just, again, a lot of things were going on and I just didn't think I had the capacity and an ability to put out and continue to put out content on a regular basis. I essentially had a bunch of excuses. And I let all those excuses force me to step away from that channel and really start focusing on money right and it was not a great great decision because ultimately at the end of the day putting out content consistently is really what builds out your business on the long term and it builds trust with your community and your tribe over the long term and so i still to this day feel sorely hurt that i let that drop but here we are now, I'm on to the automation mastery business and things have been going and I've been consistent here. And I'm very, very hopeful about where I am and what we have going forward. Now today I'm gonna go ahead and talk about the three tools I use as a part of my business and I'm gonna talk about how you can use them and, and why I'm selecting these three tools solely. Now if you saw the list of pieces of software that, that we use and own or have dabbled with, it'd be like a million things wide. And so I wanna make things simple and easy for you to understand, kind of ingest, and then go out and make a decision about in order for you to use. So first thing, our actual video editor. We use something called We Video. So if you go to wevideo.com, it is wevideo.com. Now, why do I like We Video? We Video is cool because it allows you to edit things up in the cloud, right? In the cloud. There was this phase where everything was switching from being kind of in your computer or in, if you're in a, a company, then it'd be in stored within essentially this closet that's full of computers. It's really the only way I can put it. And instead of being stored in that closet on site, it's now being saved up in the cloud, right? With some other company in some other place where they have a big computer and a even bigger closet, right? So it's this move from you managing your storage space to then putting it in a place where it's available in the internet, anywhere, at any point in time that you wanna access it. And so we video really is that shift where instead of you editing something on your own, using your computer's engine, right? Using computer's capacity and power, you're now editing in WeVideo, which is up in the internet, okay? And you use their software and you're editing up on their platform. And so I could log in here. I can log in in California. I can log in in Michigan. I can log in overseas. As long as I can log into the WeVideo account, I'm good. I can edit my stuff. And so that's one, only one reason why I love WeVideo. But for me, that's really the game changer. That and the fact that stock images and photos are included as a part of the membership. That's savings right there. Now, that's number one. Number two, something that, of course, a lot of people have heard of and have used, it's called Canva. Now, Canva is very common, right? Canva is very common for content, plenty of Cs. Now, I love Canva, especially now, because it's not just an image editor, but you can also do videos and presentations. It's just very good in terms of usefulness for content. So if you wanna make a GIF, you can use Canva. If you wanna make a logo, you use Canva. If you wanna make an intro for your channel, you can use Canva. If you wanna make thumbnails, 
you can use Canva. So Canva is a very good piece of software that's useful for you in order to put out content that you can share in many different spaces and places. And what's good is most modern, really marketing focused editors, there's already templates, there's already set like, you know, it's they got the square template for the Instagram and the Facebook. They got the long form template. If you got something from your phone, they got the horizontal. If you're trying to do the full HD experience looking thing, you know, like they have all those templates there and even more. So if you like simplicity, you like templates, you like good pricing, and yet you still like having all that functionality, the cool functionality that it gives you, then Canva is a must have when it comes out to creating content. So that's number two, plus the fact that you can post straight to social from Canva and they're letting you start to schedule some of that stuff out. Anyway, number three, the last one I'm gonna share with you today that I just would never give up at this point in time is called anchor.fm. Now, why do I say Anchor? Because Anchor is that that voice app. It's that platform where I can publish a podcast. Podcasts aren't going anywhere. Audio's a thing, and it's gonna continue to be a thing. Like, there's no way around it. Audio is going to be a thing for a very, very long time. And so Anchor.fm really is that, right? It allows you to publish a podcast, not just to Anchor though, it signs you. So when you go on Anchor, you get an option to sign up and have Anchor sign you up on multiple different platforms. So Stitcher, Apple, Google, there's some other random ones that are out there that I've never even heard of. It gets you accounts for, and it publishes straight to those places for you. Not to mind, like it's free. And you can go on there and if you want to find sponsorships, right? You can go on there to find some sponsorships. You may not get paid tons and tons of money. But again, it's an added feature. On top of that, combining it with the fact that you put out video content, you can drag any video file straight into Anchor and have it be converted into a podcast. Extremely powerful. On top of that, kind of the last kind of icing on the cake, right? And there's, there's other features I love about Anchor, right? Other features, but outside of all that, it has a mobile app. Like you can't beat the fact that I can travel around with my phone and manage a podcast to its fullest extent without even hopping on a computer if I don't want to. So that to me is amazing. Right, that to me is a beautiful thing. So those are the pieces of content that I use and that I love to use as a part of my business. If y'all like any of them, you'll see the links in the comments. They are affiliate links. So if you know, you like it, you like it. If you don't, then you don't and that's fine. Or you can, you're welcome to Google them on your own. That is also welcome as well. If you have any challenges with automating your business, whether it's automating content, sales, all that stuff, check us out at automate with ease.com that's automate with ease.com okay share this with a friend a family member or a foe because they need the information too i appreciate you and all that you do and as usual treat each day as a building block to a better future peace